Hey, get your blazer game up. Yeah, get your blazer game up first of all. Man, motherfuckers That's rocking eight hundred dollar blazers over here. Flammable shit. That's real this shit. shit. Man, you put this near. I'm shocked we can be here. This shit catch fire. Man, I'm, so I'm wearing. Hey, hey, Peter. I'm wearing a fucking animal. <laughs> this this camel this camel skin Tell right here. Peter, camel my fuck. camel was dragging on the floor. Yeah. Fucking. This hip hop shit. You gonna you gonna hit me, Peter? You ain't got no cold Henny, no cold Remy, no cold you. fucking Cavassier, some shit like that, man. We ain't, we ain't fucking with you, man. It's gotta be cold, ice cold. Fuck all that warm shit. We ain't on after hour dinner bullshit, man. Fuck that, man. It's cold. We, we cold out here. Hey, but anyways, man, you good, man? Cold as ice. Hey, man, I like that. Cold I like that blazer, man. Like this, yeah, I see. Yeah, you know, man. We kind of match each other's man. You know, the blazer brings out a different type of clientele. <laughs> yeah, you, out, you know. I could I could drop some some Hollywood philosophy. Man, we on that you know? we on that boy <laughs> shit, man. man. Well, you know I gotta go to rehab in the morning, man. So uh, hey. gotta go away for six months, bro. Ouch. Seven a.m. tomorrow, so this probably be the last few sips I have. But, you know I, I might come back sober, man. I might just fuck your head up. Y'all might see me in the club dancing, but I don't think I'm on something. <laughs> I might just be drinking orange juice. You know you never know. <laughs> Um, I got some fucked up situations going on right now, man. Like starting tomorrow, actually, 7 a.m., in less than about 12 hours, I'll actually be put into a rehabilitation center, you know what I'm saying? For like drinking and drugs and all that type of stuff. It's really court ordered. It's really to keep my ass from going back to the feds and seeing this judge, Judge Del S. Fisher, who they call the Nigerian Nightmare. Like I say in the song, like, Del Fisher giving out the years like it's candy, man, because she does not play. And it's kind of fucked up though that I'm even drug testing. I mean, my whole case was based over wire fraud. You know what I'm saying? So I ended up doing 12 months in the feds. You know, it's a lot of fucked up shit. I mean, the federal system, it's almost like Eisenhower when he talked about the military industrial complex. It's really the prison industrial complex. I mean, you got guys doing fed time like for dumb shit, man. Like, they got this thing called conspiracy. So even if I'm not the actual person committing the crime, if I'm in the vicinity of the crime being committed, I fall in that category. I mean, they tried to hit me with 20 years to life over like a couple of racks for cashing out a couple of racks. See I me, mean, I took a plea. I just, I just said I'm guilty. I don't mean I snitched. I didn't do no safety valve. This cat's in there catching safety valves. I didn't do that, and that was it. I just did my straight up 12, and I'm gone. Now, if I would have got 12 in a day, I could have done 10 months and went home. But that crazy ass judge didn't want to give me an extra day, so I had to serve the full 12. But there's cats up in there, man, who got offered like three years, turned it down, went to trial, and ended up getting hit over the head for like 10. So if anybody ever gets caught up with the federal government, take the deal. Do not go to trial. Their conviction rate, look it up, is like 99.9. .9. They do not lose. Don't let these people tell you that it's only blacks and Hispanics going to prison, because it's not. I met a lot of white collar, white dudes in there. It ain't worth it being away from your peoples. I mean, who doesn't want to get pussy? Who wants to be surrounded by a bunch of dudes all day and fucking going to commissary and eating hot Cheetos and like, I mean, the only females you see is like nurses, the dentists, and like a couple COs, but they not fucking with you. So, I mean, you want to be out, man. You want to be rocking blue blazers and fucking badass bitches, man. Basically, the moral of the story is, man, just don't get caught by the feds, man. Cause it'll fuck your whole shit up. Hey, Cavassier, give me a sponsorship. That's another place we gotta go. We gotta go. Man, to I can't. I can't show your shit. We gotta go to France. I'm gonna say it behind now. Behind. <laughs> show that. I'm gonna put your label on behind. Show ass out here. I can't. I can't show no liquor labels no more until Come you pay me. Can't do it. I'm putting all the bottles behind now. Yeah, fuck that. Turn that still don't know what it is. Nah, fuck that. Turn that shit behind. Still fuck y'all. What it is. Both. That's Hollywood. Well, it depends on the night, man. Greystone, man. They got the right. baddest ones, and they're the and least. Sometimes boobs. we go out to Hollywood. I ain't gonna lie. And we go up to Sound Nightclub on Wednesdays sometimes. Sometimes the fees is kind of bougie. It's not even that kind of event. Greystone Sundays, probably Hyde on like a Saturday, and maybe like Emerson and Supper Club Tuesdays too. Go up, man. Standing on the white couches with the. Hey, 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 hey! No, no, no don't, fuck don't out. stop shit. Look it. All you bitch ass bouncers. Oh yeah, talk to them. All you bitch ass security. Y'all motherfuckers ain't got no phase. No phase. Y'all, y'all fucking hiding behind. Y'all hurt. Y'all hearts hurt. Y'all hearts 
is hurt because you was probably bullied in high school. You ain't getting no bitches. No bitches. And we still get in. And we bagging everything. And look, you think you getting bitches because you a fucking bouncer in the yeah. of a club. Exactly. But you really not getting no hoes. And then we spending money. So honestly, we almost paying your salary at the end of the day. You almost like a... Like oh, a, you want a cock like fly? Like a and we man. still get up in the club. Still in the club. Yeah, man. Eat a dick and die. We understand it's Hollywood. We from here. We from LA. We do this. We done been out here for years. Before y'all dudes even came out here on this turf. But just... Just, just mind yourself, man. You don't, you don't want another, uh, what was that spot used to be called? Over there by the oh, guys, and guys and dogs. You don't want another guys and dogs. No, no, no. You mean in the life? You mean in the life? I mean, if we knew that, Shit, I guess get high, fuck bitches, get money? Get money. Me well, personally, I just want to live right, be comfortable, you know, not hurt nobody, take care of myself. I want to see the world. I kind of want to spend like a night in like Tibet or something. Seven years in Tibet, like some Brad Pitt shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wanna ride like an elephant in India or something. Hey man, I wanna spend I seven know. years in a crack house. <laughs> and be like, yo, no, you, know, you won't live, you won't survive seven years in a crack house. You won't survive seven hours in a crack house. Right, yo, <laughs> you gotta eat each other. <laughs>